and my gun. Baby. Well, I hope that you didn't screw up our plans. No, everything's gonna be okay. See, I, I almost paid for it. See? I wrote that officer's name 836 times. When I get to a thousand, then everything will be okay. This is just... Oh, hey. You are gonna lay off this cop killing stuff, you hear me? You're gonna drop it. Well, I'll, I'll try, Jimmy. Don't. You mad at me? <laughs> well, <laughs> I never could stay mad at such a cute thing like you, I guess. Hey, press my pants. <laughs> Come on, turn on the steam. Drawing something for you. Ooh, that is a beautiful horse. I think the feet are too tiny. No, no, no. I like my horses with tiny feet. Mm. Hey, Peanut, there's something I want to talk to you about. You know that deal we made about my job? Well, I think that I need it back on the police force. Is it because of that policewoman who was shot? Yes, it is. I want to help find who did it. Did you know her? Mm-hmm. I knew Joanne. She was a very good person. Why'd she have to die? Because a bad person wanted to kill a police officer. Then why do you want to be one? Because I'm good at it, and I like it. But I won't do it if you don't want me to. Will Grandma take care of me? Yes, she will. She loves you very much. Then I guess it's okay. You sure? Uh-huh. You know when I go out to play and you tell me to be careful? I want you to be careful. I will, Peanut. I promise. How you doing? There's no liftable prints inside. It looks like it was wiped clean. You guys about done? Yeah, just about. That smell. Smell that? Yeah. Acetone. Just take this rag and that piece of paper and put it in a baggie for me. Right. I'll measure from the back of the seat to the gas pedal and up to the steering wheel for me, too. Right. Thanks. Tony Charles, go. Metro stakeout report suspect Robert Spencer has arrived at his residence. They're standing by. Good. 
Tell them if Spencer moves to jump on it. If not, sit still till I get there. Roger, R20, Charles. Perhaps you'd be interested in something like this. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's nice stuff. But, uh, I don't know. I, I was looking for something with a little more zip to it, you know? Well, maybe if you gave me a for instance, it might help. <laughs> well, you're the salesman. No, I don't know. I'll tell you, um, I don't care about the cost, you know? Just as long as the piece has a little bit of imagination in it, you know? Excuse me. Do you have any diamond tennis bracelets? Yes, ma'am, we do. Let me call a salesman from the back. Oh, no, 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 that's all right. You help this charming lady here while I just browse around. How about that? Thank you. Don't mention it. Now, these are very pretty. Yes, they are. I got set up. I don't deal dope. You got set up, huh? Is that why you killed Officer Malinsky? I didn't shoot no cop. Why didn't you report your car stolen, Mr. Spencer? I've been out of town for a week. Didn't even know it was gone. It's the truth, man. Here's some more truth for you. You got busted for armed robbery. Used a 38, right? Yeah, so what? The officer we buried this morning was hit with a 38 slug. Did you kill her? No way. You use silicone-coated bullets? Get some ears and listen. I didn't kill anyone. You're not going to lie your way out of this. If you pulled that trigger, you're on your way to the gas chamber. Just because I get a record, you want me to take a fall on a cop killing? No way. I'm not going down for that. Find some other pigeon. Mr. Spencer, if I find out you had anything to do with Officer Malinsky's death, anything at all, you won't make it to jail. What do you want a burn bar for? Huh? You want to torch your way into a safe? That's my business. How much? Won't cost you nothing. If I can't find one, getting it, that's the trick. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm here. Now, come on. It's, I got to have a rough estimate on this thing, or I'm just going to hit the trail, find somebody else. Give me a bottom line on this, Mr. Seagal. Maybe you want a little piece of your action. Well, maybe uh, you play it straight, I'll give you a lot of action. Like how much? Like a hundred grand, minimum. Tell you what, you let me handle what you get, the burn bar is on me. You handle ice, big old chunks of it. <laughs> the bigger, the better. I got a guy. He could recut the Hope Diamond so you'd never recognize it. Mm -hmm. Well, then maybe you and me's got a deal, Mr. Scala. Nice choice of restaurants. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding you. I'll tell you something. On my first date with my wife, rest her soul, was, we were in that booth right over there. Yeah, we had uh, cheeseburgers, french fries, and a uh, root beer float. It used to be a burger joint. Uh, let me have some Thai iced tea, OK? Uh, we didn't come here to discuss nostalgia, did we? What's on your mind? I won on the Malinsky case. I won on it full time. Have you talked to Hunter? No, but he was right. You can't conduct an investigation without officers who are totally committed to the job. And you're committed now? Yes. Well, that's good news for our side. I think Hunter could use some help on this case. That is, if you don't have a problem working with him. 